Rahmatullah. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. All thanks be to Allah, the Lord of the two worlds, the heaven and the earth. May peace and blessings be upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companions. My name is Zainab Abu Bakr Malani and of course it is my pleasure to be the uncle for today. Right over here on this beautiful university at Integral University, Lucknow. Respected Dr. Saeed Nadim Akhtar, Honorable Pro Chancellor, Integral University, Her Excellency Ms. Stella Budiringaya, Ambassador of Burundi to the Republic of India, who is the chief guest for today, Dr. Javed Musarat, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Integral University, Deans, Directors, Head of Departments, Faculty members, my fellow students, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to all. I'm Nigerian and I came to Enchagra University in the year 2018 to study BSc Nursing, a four-year professional program under the Faculty of Allied Health Sciences. Currently, I am the final year of my course. My stay in Enchagra University has inculcated in me a spirit of confidence and self-commitment. I am looking forward to using my well applied professional skills for serving my country. In Integra University, I know I have made friends for life. I wholeheartedly welcome our esteemed guests, and as mark of our gratitude and respect, I request Ms. Sophia to welcome Her Excellency Ms. Stella Rutlingania with a bouquet of flowers. A man of commitment, a man of vision, and a man of dedication, and who is taking and leading the university forward, may I call upon Dr. Saeed Nelim Akhtar, Honorable Pro Chancellor, Integral University. Thank you very much, sir. Her Excellency, Mr. Stella Budirigania, the Ambassador of Burundi to India. Vice Chancellor Professor Javed Masaga, our Pro Vice Chancellor, Registrar, Deans and Directors, esteemed members of the faculty, and my dear students. A very good morning to all of you and a warm welcome to this beautiful function where today we have the honor of hosting Her Excellency the Ambassador of Burundi to India. At the very outset, ma'am, let me first welcome you to the city of etiquettes and the city of culture, which is Lucknow. And then to this beautiful university in this lush green campus. The city of Lucknow is a historic city with a very significant role in developing the culture of the northern region of the country and an even more significant role in the freedom struggle of India. Thank you, sir, for your kind words. It is our pleasure to have with us Her Excellency Ms. Stella Buniringaya, Ambassador of Burundi to the Republic of India. May I request Ms. Salazadi Sami to please give us the biography of Her Excellency. Very good afternoon, everybody. Uh, the high dignitaries here. Uh, I have the honor to give an introduction about the chief guest for today, who is Her Excellency Stella Budurigania, Ambassador Pleni Patanshari from the Republic of Burundi to India. Welcome, ma'am. Uh, Her Excellency did her education from the Faculty of Arts and Humanities in the University of Burundi. Uh, she specializes on languages, which is French languages and literature. Her dissertation theme 
was in French based on a topic perhaps which I understood was on colors. We will learn from you more on that dissertation once we gradually know you more. Uh, she did her diploma in humanities from the University of Burundi and the option was letters modernist. Her experiences have been she has been the Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Republic of Burundi in India since August 2017. She submitted her credentials to the President of the Republic of India on the 19th of September 2017. From September 2015 to July 2017, she has been the spokesperson of the President of the Senate of Burundi. From May 2010 to September 2015, she has been a senior advisor in charge of political and diplomatic affairs in the office of the President of the Senate in Burundi. She has been the President of the Economic and Social Council of Burundi. She has been the Vice President of the Economic and Social Council of Burundi. She has been one of the directors of the Burundian newspaper La Renovu du Burundi. She has been an independent consultant at USAID in Burundi and she has coached and trained people on the management of post-election period for the elected officials of the grassroots communities. She has been a spokesperson in the Ministry of National Solidarity, Repatriation, National Reconstruction, Human Rights and Gender. She has been an independent consultant at IFES Burundi, where she has designed communication plan for a post-election media campaign for peace towards local elected officials. She has been a freelance consultant in communication. She has been a head of information and dissemination, dissemination service to the Burundi Red Cross. She has been the head of the urban project for women, which has been financed by the government of Burundi and UNICEF. She has been a press officer at the office of the mayor of the city of Bujumbura, which was still recently the capital of Burundi. Uh, she has had a lot of trainings and internships as President of Social and Economic Council. She has attended international seminar on sustainable development, the role of an economic and social council held at Brazzaville in May 2012. She has been attending, she has attended a seminar organized by the Economic and Social Council of Algeria, which the theme for which was what new challenges and what role for organized civil society for the promotion of employment and the socio-professional integration of youth that was held in the capital city Algiers in November 2012. She has been uh, to the International Symposium on Food Security, where she has assessed international policies to achieve the Millennium Development Goals again at Brazzaville in May 2013. She has attended the General Assembly of the Union of Economic and Social Councils of Africa under the theme, which educational system to promote the professional integration of youth in Africa held in the Senegal capital, Dakar, in February 2014. In Romania, Bucharest, from June 25th to 27, 2014, she has participated in the General Assembly of the International Association of Economic and Social Councils and similar institutes. The theme was National Human Capital and New Sources of National Competitiveness. She has had a training at the International Training Center in Turin, Italy, from 9 to 19 September 2014, and the topic was Tripartite Social Dialogue at National Level. As Vice President of Economic and Social Council, she has attended a seminar and an international conference on evaluation of employment strategies and policies implementing, implementing the Global Jobs Pact, the, governments, the Governance of Economic and Social Councils Paris in December 2009. As a spokesperson of the President of the Senate, she has attended a conference on interparliamentary inter conference on good governance and the fight against poverty in East Africa, which was held in Nairobi, Kenya, in November 2016. She has attended the eighth conference of presidents, assemblies, and sections of the African region, APF, held at Libreville in March 2016. She has attended conference for African parliaments on violence against women which was held in Burkina Faso in November 2010. She has attended the Conference of Presidents of Parliaments in Geneva, July 2010. She has attended the Conference of Presidents of Parliament in the occasion of International Day of Democracy, Botswana, July 2009. 
She has worked as director for the Brindian newspaper, as I told earlier. She has been an expert in communication with the Ministry of National Solidarity. She has got three publications under her belt. One is on the Senate of Burundi from the monarchy to the third legislature. Or one book on the design of billboards on the concept of peace. And one graduation dissertation university, the theme of colors in St. John per se. Example of writing on the door to celebrate a childhood and eloges. Her Excellency speaks Kirundi and French very fluently, English and Swahili. She has excellent computer skills. She lives in Delhi with her two sons, one of whom is, uh, is an architect and the other one is uh, in the tourism industry. He has done his master's in tourism. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to invite Her Excellency, Mrs. Stella Budriganya, to please come up to deliver the keynote address and enthrall this August gathering. Thank you very much. Please, ma'am. Of a very, very important person in front of professor and in front of a uh, student who will be graduated soon and will be a future professor. So I am honored today to be in front of you. Namaste. Namaste. In our language, we say Amahoro, means that. Peace with everyone. Amahor. <laughs> Honorable Pro Chancellor Dr. Syed Nadim Akhtar. The person who has conceived the idea of establishing the university from a scratch, and what you have seen today is in the form of a huge institution catering to the needs of uh, these students, not only from the state of Uttar Pradesh, but the students from every nook and corner of the country are studying here. Apart from that, as the documentary has very clearly uh, demonstrated that the students from more than 200 countries, from more than 23 countries, more than 200 students are studying here in the campus. We provide them a residential life. The purpose of having this residential complex is to dissolve the boundaries of nationalities, the boundaries of states, so that they can come together. And we try a little best to develop them and send them out of the country as global citizens with the sense of universal brotherhood and with the element of uh, uh, mutual uh, tolerance. So that is the beauty of the Integral University, which we impart during their stay in the campus. So coming of the students, in invitation to the students, or the mobility of the students from across the nation is one aspect, but training them and sending them back uh, as uh, the uh, representatives of the Integral University is the hallmark of this university. So at the end, I extend once again my gratitude to Her Excellency for accepting our invitation. I now request Dr. Sayyid Nadim Akhtar, Her Excellency Ms. Tela Dr. Javed Musarraf, to please come up for a photograph to commemorate this occasion. <laughs> 